They are almost three wide as they come off the corner. No caution. Here come the leaders. Boyer holds it. Bush is right with them. Four cars under a blanket. Two by two and two to go. And, and Yaley is off the racetrack. He's out of harm's way. Here they come, and Kyle Busch is going to try to hold him off. Boyer tap. Oh, they're sideways. Look at Robbie Gordon on the high side. He gets all four cars, all the leaders. Caution comes out as Michael Waltrip makes the pass. Now, remember, the field was frozen when the caution came out, but the cars that caused the caution, they are not able to stay on the lead lap or get the free pass. Larry, as I saw it looking across the track at the moment, the starter lifted the caution flag. Michael Waltrip had passed those cars to take the lead. And a fellow who was down in the mouth all weekend about his Bush program just not coming together is probably going to go to victory lane. They are still crashing down the front straightaway as they come to the line. Yeah, Michael started back in 22nd position. We did get the white flag. I've seen a lot of wild finishes and not too many to match up to this one. And, and you know, there's a point this race did not have that look about it about halfway through, but who would have ever thought we'd have four cars going for the lead with a lap and a half to go on the back stretch. And when Kyle Busch got sideways, they all wadded up and Michael Waltrip was just far enough behind them to be able to clear them on the outside. And I think the other car that, that got by was Johnny Sauter in the 27 right now. Again, scoring, we, we'll have to check scoring, but he's showing in second place right now. You know, Larry, I think everybody that was involved in the backstretch got away and can't, came on around. Yeah, everyone is is going. It's like they were just locked up back there. Oh. And the checkered flag is out. And it's going to wave over Michael Waltrip, who unofficially is our winner. We will have to await a review from NASCAR of the scoring at the time the field was frozen under caution. But it's our belief that Michael Waltrip had cleared those cars and will go to victory lane. Oh, let's sort this one out. They're coming off turn two. This was with about a lap and a half to go. You saw the 21 just barely got in the back of the five. And then it looked like Johnny Benson got in the back of the 21 and just kind of sucked in Robbie Gordon in the 55 car. Chain reaction. There's the first contact, Boyer into Bush. Benson and Gordon into Boyer, and the caution comes out right about there as Michael Waltrip had made the pass. And we believe Johnny Sauter had gone to second. Larry, just it's four guys trying to win it. Yeah, I mean, this was with a lap and a half to go. And, and there, there's guys trying to win their first Bush Series race right there. Robbie Gordon and Clint Boyer in the 21, and Johnny Benson, who has not been to victory lane in a long time in the Bush Series. Let's ride with Michael Waltrip. Right now, he's fifth. He knew something was happening. You could hear him get out of the throttle even before anyone touched anyone. He knew it was fixing to break loose. And you saw the caution light, and when it came on, Michael had cleared those cars. Now, even so, Larry, as you pointed out, to be able to retain your position under caution, even though the field is frozen, you must be able to maintain pace car speed, and those cars spinning through the grass, weren't doing that. And I think that's going to be the key with Michael being the winner and Johnny Sauter in second is Robbie Gordon, Clint Boyer, Kyle Busch, and Johnny Benson. They were, they, they're the ones that brought the caution out. I think that's going to be the key.